Salam family. Salam, salam. I wanted to talk to you guys today about Lucifer. And I wanted to talk to you guys about is he the devil and did he fall from heaven? I want to give all praise to the Father, to the Holy Spirit, to our brother Christ. So with that being said, let's begin, guys. Okay, so Isaiah 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shall keep. Okay, so this is the important part. That thou shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressors seized the golden city? So we know that this chapter is about the king of Babylon and um, the redemption of Jacob. So, the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Who, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger and persecuted and none hindered. We're talking about the king of Babylon. Say it right there. Now, y'all, we got to be smart about this. The whole earth is at rest. So we know it's not talking about Satan. It's talking about the king of Babylon. So y'all can stop saying that it's talking about... I'm going to show y'all some very important stuff. The whole earth... Hold on. Yeah. The whole earth is at rest. And it is quiet. They break forth into singing. So this is when, you know, I did a scripture about the rest way at the beginning of my channel in the 444 and the four horns four um trumpets the four angels holding back the winds and one rest and as soon as they say peace and safety you guys can go back and watch that if you want to yay the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of lebanon saying since thou art laid down no filler is come up against thee so since thou art laid down Nobody has come up against thee. So since the king of Babylon is laid down, no nation has come up against them. Okay. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So hell is there to meet him at his coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, and they shall speak un and they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? So the, he's saying right there that he went to hell, and the kings, the other kings that was in hell, spoke to him and say that all, all, all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we are thou become like unto us thy pomp is brought down to the grave so he he died he got killed and he went to hell y'all so let's keep because this is important pay attention the pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of the vials the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee in the grave that's what happened to your body when it's in the grave the worms eat it okay how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are thy cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? How are thy cut down to the ground, to the grave? How did you get killed? Okay. For thou said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. Now people think because he said he will ascend above the heights of the clouds, he will make his uh, throne like the most high. We're going to see what that means. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. First thing first, y'all need to understand that it's more than three heavens. The scriptures say, let me open the window. The scriptures say, 
I knew a man, whether in the body or out of the body, Okay. Let's see. Y'all listening? Let's say I. Is that the King James note? Let's say I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. Such in one caught up to the third heaven. So from this we understand that it's three heavens. So what heaven was he trying to um rule over? Let's go back to Isaiah 14. So it'll say thou so it'll say, How art thy fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thy cut down? to the ground which did its weaken the nation. So what heaven did he fall from? Let's see what the Messiah said. Let's see what the Messiah said, y'all. He said the Messiah said the kingdom of heaven is within you. Let's see. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So that's one heaven right there. Then they asked them one time, uh, Maybe that's the same scripture I'm talking about. <laughs> Lo, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Let me make sure that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, the kingdom of heaven is within you. I'm trying to make sure. That, I thought it was another scripture that says something similar, but I can't put my th tongue on it right now. My thumb can't think about it right now but okay so y'all see it's three heavens one of them was in you is within you here on earth okay so let's go back to Isaiah 14 so this is the heaven he fell from when he died okay how 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 are y'all how are you brought down to the ground for thou said in thy heart, I will send into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Who said that? That was Nimrod when he went to t built the tower of Babel that was supposed to reach above the stars. So that's not talking about actual heaven. That's talking about here. So when he is talking about earth, the first heaven, that the kingdom that's within you, you can be, have you ever heard of, you can be in heaven and hell on earth? That's true. The scriptures support that. But it's also a literal hell and it's also a literal heaven. So he was in heaven on earth. Okay, he was in heaven on earth. So he said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So that's why the Tower of Babel was knocked down. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. What I told y'all, he went to hell. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners, all the kings of nations, even all of them, lie in glory even one of his own house but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with the sword 
that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, whose children, Nimrods, for the iniquity of their fathers, for they do not for they do not rise nor possess the land in Babylon, nor fill the face of the world with cities, for I will rise up against them, save the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, I told y'all, the name and remnant and son and nephew, save the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bitter and pools of water. I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, save the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purpose, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land and upon my mountains, tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For the Lord of hosts have purposed it, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? And the year that king... Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so that's all we need to read. Rejoice not thou, whole Palestinia, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant. How, O great... How, O gate, cry, O city, thou, O whole Palestinian, art dissolved, for there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in his appointed time. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? The Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. So, as y'all can see, when it was talking about Lucifer, a morning star, it wasn't <clears throat> Shalom family. So the video cut off. I'll try to merge these two together. So as you can see, this scripture was about the king of Babylon and Lucifer. I, another thing I want to add is that the word, when you look it up, the it's a mistranslation. The word that's actually supposed to be there is halal. Halal. Um and as we said, he fell from, from heaven. But we understand from what the Messiah said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. Neither should they say low here or low there. And we understand that since it's three heavens that they wasn't saying that he fell from the, from the third heaven. It was saying that he fell from his heaven within, heaven on earth. And then he went to what? He went to hell. So we read that whole um, thing. So, you know, from this we can conclude that Lucifer is not Satan. It's the king of Babylon that stated right here. A lot of people like to go and read scriptures in Ezekiel. None of those scriptures have to do with the scripture right here, Ezekiel 20, um, they like to read scriptures about the king of Tyrus in Ezekiel 28. Not It's not the same person where I say that you were in the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is not, the Garden of Eden was in Africa, okay? It was in the Mesopotamia area. I do have a video on where's the Garden of Eden. Y'all can go watch that video. So, um, this was a man. This was a man. It was not, um... Um, angel that fell from the third heaven where, where the most high God is. No, that's not what this verse is saying. I just explained to y'all that it's talking about the king of Babylon dying, going I'll call her right back. Dying, going to hell. You know, it, it makes it very clear. Um, so I hope y'all can understand that.
I'm going to try to add this little bit of commentary on to the video. And I just want to say shalom, family, till we meet again. Uh, one more time, Lucifer is not Satan. Um, and the word actually is halal, and he did not fall from heaven. He fell from heaven within, his heaven on earth. He fell from his kingdom. His, you know, when you're in a good state on earth, you're, we call it heaven on earth. So he had a kingdom, etc. He was king of Babylon, his heaven on earth. He fell from that. He was slain and killed and he went to hell, to the pit, to his grave. Okay? Shalom, family. So we meet again.